Right boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be installing a new part to the car. Haven't done a sort of install video for a little while, so I'm quite excited to do this one. Um, I've got a couple of parts that I'm installing soon, so that'll be a couple more videos. Like, it's, it's just going really well, but before we carry on, I wanna say thank you to everyone for the support on the channel. The subs are growing massively again. Really, really happy. But let's jump onto this video. So today, we're gonna to be installing a throttle spacer. So as you can see, Basically what this does, it will bring the pedal height up to the same, should be around about the same with the brake. Um, really cheap, easy mod to do. I think these are only about 10, 20 pound new. Um, actually I've got this and another part off of someone who was selling his Fiesta ST for a really, really good price. So thank you ever so much to you. If you are watching the channel, you'll know who you are. But I can see that they got it from SWN Mods, as you can see beforehand. Um, so what we're going to do is get all my tools out and get down to business really. But yeah, now I'm really excited to do an install video. I haven't done one in a very long time, so pretty cool. Let's go. All right, let's get some tools out. I don't know what we're going to need, so let's just take that. Don't know what we've got in here. Anything in there we're going to need, we've got spanners and stuff. I think I might be able to do it with a socket set. But anyway, let's have a look. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a little play around, see what tools we actually need. And I'll explain to you what this potentially is going to do. So let's turn the camera around and I'll show you. All right, so as you can see from this angle, the throttle actually sits a lot further down than the braking clutch. Obviously that's quite standing, but obviously if you want to get off your braking to accelerate it quicker, it's just a little body. We're going to undo these nuts up here and it should then raise it and have it matching level so there's a before and then also i'll show you after let's get all the tools that we need okay so it's actually at this point i realized that i really need to get some new tools like my socket set is just not deep enough for this so what i've got i've got some ratchet spanners um with an adjustable end it's 13 mil that we need i'll see you get these with your spacer and um, we don't need them just there and what I'm going to do is try my hardest to try and do it with just a uh, ratchet spanner. Shouldn't be too easy. Uh, too easy. Shouldn't be too hard. But we'll see. Right, let's turn it around and show you what we've got to do. Okay, so as you can see on your pedal, you've got one nut there and one just up there. We need to undo them two completely and then it will take your whole um, accelerator off, which we'll do right now. So, hopefully, if I turn this around. Just one handed. Okay, so let's go out to the garage quickly and see if the good old granddad's got a socket set that's going to have deep enough sockets because trying to do that with a ratchet spanner is just so long. But we'll see. So I'm sure, as you can tell, is that I'm not a mechanic or a technician or anything like that. So you have to bear with me, I'll show you the best I can. We'll get there though. Just got to get hopefully a deep enough socket to fit it in but we'll see ever in doubt go in your granddad's garage i'm sure he has some tools we've got a socket deep enough now so i'm going to remove them two bolts right now we've undone them two one there one just up there what we have to do is pull this off and just rest it aside you can unplug it if you want so it's completely out of the way but i reckon we can maneuver around it we'll see Right, so I believe that it goes this way. So if you look at the straight edge that is facing the door, so then what we should do is line it up. If I can. That one at the bottom. That one over there, just like so. Then what we do, we grab the little spacer bits that come with it. We pop them in and tighten it up, I'll show you. Right, so potentially we have these spacers which can go in there. I see we can just tighten them up. As you can see. Just obviously on the thread that we just took the nuts out on. It's probably better off you can probably take this off and put that on after. Don't know how far down we put these on. But what I'm going to do is just put them there for now and do the same with the top one. And then we'll be back. Okay, so with the pack, I can just put the camera down. With the pack, we obviously got the spacers, the throttle spacer, and these. So these are replacement ones. So you won't need these old nuts anymore. You can put them aside. 
And basically what we've done, so it goes like this. So we've got the thread that we took the old nuts off. We then put the spacers, the little metal spacers on it. You then put the actual throttle spacer itself. And then potentially what this does, this will then bite into the spacer. So also it's like an extension. You just hold your, if I just turn the camera around. So then what you do is obviously line this up, put that there. So it's going to potentially be like that. Exactly just like that. So what I'm going to do is put the nuts in and I'll show you exactly what it looks like after. Right, you can all laugh at me as much as you like. So basically, the writing does go to the side, but just have it turned upside down the way I had it on the actual spacer. So I'll try and show you now. Also, like I said, I've never done one of these in my life. Um, I'm sort of going in blind, not even watched another video of it, so I don't really know. Um, but I'll show you what I mean, and it's really, really easy. Look, I'll show you. So, we still got the flat bit here, but I had this, if it's going to focus, I had this bulge bit here facing upwards. Just spin it round so that bulge bit is pointing sort of inwards. Does that make sense? And then simply just tighten it all up, and then I'll show you. Okay, so they're all nice and tight. What I'm going to potentially show you now is the difference. So as you can see, this is all level now. Exactly that. I'm looking forward to driving it later to see what it's actually like. So just make sure they're nice and tight. Really quick, easy mod. And um, yeah, I'd go and grab one for yourself if you've got a Fiesta ST. Right guys, so like I said at the start, I'm not actually a mechanic or anything like that. Um, it probably, I don't know, probably not the best installation video I've ever done. But I tried to explain it as simple as I could. So... Nuts off, throttle comes off, 13mm socket obviously you're going to need, um, put the little spacers on with the throttle body spacer, the new nuts in, simple as that, it literally took me, if I wasn't filming it would take me probably 10 minutes, probably took me about 20 minutes filming, I'm not too sure, so what I'm going to do now is shoot out, take it for a drive and see if I can really feel the difference. Right, so it's later on that day, I've had a really really busy day. Um, getting stuff done to the car so look out for them sort of videos so excuse me literally just got out the uh, shower so fluffy hair and everything looking online and um, people have been saying that oh that you can fit the spacer the other way the way that we had it to start with but for some reason there was a metal bit in my way and I couldn't fit it on and I noticed sort of there was about most of them are the other way which I had to start with there's about four or five of them that's turned it around and done it that way because they had this bit, it like sort of metal thing, it sticks out. And if you bolt it to that, it's just going to break it. So it doesn't really make a um, huge difference where you have it. But, you know, that's the way I've had to have it on my car and that's how it works. Personal opinion, um, I don't really like it. it sounds a bit weird. People are going to probably like hate me for that. But, yeah, I don't really like it. The pure fact it, I, d I don't know. I think it's just, it's different, so I've got to get used to it as well. Um, but yeah, I'll keep it on there for now and just see where it goes. And yeah, I, uh, if I don't like it, I'll just take it off. It's literally only a couple of quid, but I'm sure I can get used to it. It's just something new to the pedals, different feel and that. But So I hope you enjoyed this video. Just give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to go and check out blue underscore st180 on Instagram. Follow that, it's my car account. And without further ado, guys, keep up the massive support that you're giving already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers, guys.